What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best Cydia tweaks that are available in Cydia for the latest version of iOS that is capable of being jailbroken. As of right now, that's iOS 8.1.2. Now, of course, I have some great tweaks to show you guys as always. And one of my personal favorites out of the five that I'm going to be showing you today is called Color Banners. This tweak colorizes your notification banners and the notifications on your lock screen depending on the color of the application that the notification came from. And it's a really cool idea, it looks great, and it works perfectly. And of course, all the other, other tweaks that I'm going to be showing you in this video are great as well. And with all that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, and first up we have Color Banners. This one's available in Cydia for $1.99. And this tweak will color your notification banners and lock screen notifications depending on the color of the application that they came from. For example, if I receive a banner from the messages application, it would be green, mail, blue, etc. So let's go ahead and put this to the test. I'm going to go ahead and send myself a message from my phone over here. And of course, the messages application is green, so the notification banner should be green. Let's just go ahead and select send here. And as you can see, there you go, it's green. And of course, the functionality, as you can see, is exactly the same. That's not going to change. Again, it's just color based. So let's go ahead and lock our device here. I'm going to send myself another notification. And I'm going to show you, as you can see right there, it works on the lock screen as well, the exact same way. And there are various options to configure for this tweak. So make your way to the settings application and find the settings panel for color banners going there. And you do have two sections to configure. You have banners and lock screen. So of course, banners, if you go in here, again, you could entirely disable this portion of the tweak if you want. And there's also various other options, as you can see down here. Same exact thing goes for lock screen. Again, you could disable that entire section. There's also a bunch of, again, other options down there. And you also have a test section, so if you want to see how things look, you could just hit test banner. And as you can see, it's going to send you a banner notification, a test one from a random application. That was Facebook, and as you can see, of course, it's blue. If I select it again, it's just going to send me another random one. That's voice memo, so it's white. One more time, there's mail, blue, you get the point. And as far as notification is concerned, if you select this, it's going to just send you to your lock screen and then do the same thing. Again, send you a random notification. There is calendar, which is, of course, red. And it's a very good tweak. It just looks very nice. And, you know, it's a really good effect to have being able to sort your notifications based on the color of the application. And again, the tweak's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And next we have Volume Banner. This one's available in Cydia for free. And this tweak will replace the annoying Volume HUD that normally pops up in the middle of your screen with a sleek banner that only occupies the top of your screen, as you can see right here. And you can even slide it with your own finger, as you can see right there, and it's just a lot less obtrusive, you know. You could be in an application or even watching a video, and, you know, you adjust the volume, and as you can see, it's not going to, you know, make as big of a scene as it would normally in iOS, you know. Normally, you get this huge thing in the middle of the screen, as you can see right there, and, you know, it's just kind of annoying, you know, having that there and having it interrupt whatever you're doing, and this tweak just fixes that problem completely. And there are some settings to configure for this tweak, as you can see down here. So if you go ahead and open up Volume Banner in the settings, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. If you go to Configuration, you have various options to configure for this tweak. You could customize it to your liking. Then under that, you could go to Makers, and this is basically the developer of the tweak. You could show him some love on Twitter, give him a follow, say thank you for this tweak. And there's also the Support option, and that's basically going to email the developer portions of uh, your file system to troubleshoot if you're having issues with this tweak you know you could troubleshoot it with him and again this tweak is called volume banner it's available in Cydia for free it fixes that annoying you know volume hud that's normally there in ios and next is one hand wizard this one's available for three dollars and 99 cents and this tweak will allow you to use your device with one hand in a more efficient manner than iOS normally allows you to. On the larger iPhone 6 and 6 Plus devices, there is a feature called reachability that if you double tap on your Touch ID sensor, as you can see, everything in the screen will move down. You can access areas of the screen that you normally would not be able to access. This tweak not only enhances that, but also brings this new functionality that it has to other devices, for example, the iPod Touch 5th generation, you know, iPhone 5S, all the other smaller devices. So basically, as you can see right here, if I, you know, activate a specific activator action, my screen not only shifts down to the bottom, but you could also have it shift into a particular portion of the screen. For example, as you can see, it shifts into the corner, and of course, I could interact with it, as you can see, just like this, you know, more easily with one hand, you know, I don't have to reach all the way up to the exact, you know, top corners, etc. I could have everything, you know, in this one particular, um, you know, 
portion of the screen. And, you know, it's just a lot easier to use with one hand. You know, you still, you know, of course, have your larger screen for, you know, watching movies, TV shows, you know, etc. Whatever you want to do. But, you know, if you just want to simply use your device, this is definitely an easier way to do so. And, of course, if we repeat the activator action, it'll go back to normal. And, of course, to configure this, you're going to need to go into settings on your device and open up one hand wizard settings. Then you're going to hit assign launch action and it's going to take you to activator and from here you could scroll through here and just choose any of the activator actions. Again, I use the press of the home button, but you could use any of these gestures and then just go ahead and perform it afterwards and you know, boom, you're going to be in this new smaller view. And if you select these little three bars here, you have some more information. You could share this tweak with social networks to show your love for it. You could take a screenshot, go to the lock screen, look at your notifications. So if you select this, of course, it's just going to take you to your notification center. Again, you could screenshot, boom, there you go. You could go volume up, volume down, basically just controlling uh, the volume on your device, mute, etc. You can also turn on left hand mode, which will make it more ideal for your left hand. So you'll move it to the other side and you can access more. And then if you use right hand, of course, this will be more ideal for the other side. And again, this tweak is called one hand wizard. It basically just enhances the way that your device is able to be used with one hand, it makes it much better, you know, much better features, much better reachability with this tweak, not only on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, but also on any other device. And once again, it's available in Cydia for $3.99. And next we have Goss. This one's available in Cydia for $0.99. Cents. And this tweak will allow you to make your music application look absolutely gorgeous. As you can see right here, I have an entirely new blur and color scheme. As you can see, just the colors overall of the application are different, and it just looks very nice. And of course, you could configure everything through the settings application. So after you have installed it on your device, just go ahead and open up the settings application, scroll down until you see Goss, and then you're going to go in there. And here you could enable or disable the tweak and, of course, customize it. And you can also customize the now playing as well. If you want to, if you want this tweak to have an effect on that, just go ahead and keep that toggle on. Going into customize here, you could scroll down, and again, here are your configuration options. So first, you have blur presets. If you go in here, you could change it between you know light, dark, and there's various other options in here. Let's just go ahead and change it to dark to change that up, and we'll go ahead and change up some of the colors down here. The primary text color. Let's change it to red. We'll hit save. And now we'll go to secondary text color. Let's change that to green. Hit save. Primary. How about let's do pink. Save. And secondary tint. Let's go ahead and do like a dark yellowish type thing. And up here, as you can see, it does give you a preview of what it's going to look like. Now, in order for the changes to take effect inside the music application, you will need to kill it. So as you can see right here, uh, nothing takes an effect right now. We just need to double click our home button and kill the application and then launch it again. Then all the changes again will take an effect. And as you can see right here, all the changes took an effect and it looks pretty cool if you ask me. As you can see down there, just the colors overall, you know, appear as well. Everything looks very nice and it's just so sleek. It's kind of like a Halloween theme, I guess. But again, it's just a really good looking music application that you could make with this tweak. And once again, it's called Goss. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And the fifth and final tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Multi-Delete. It's available in Cydia for free, and it allows you to delete multiple App Store applications off of your device at the same time. And after you have installed it on your device, make sure you go into Settings and scroll down until you do see Multi-Delete. Then you're going to go in there and make sure you enable the tweak first. It will not be enabled by default. Then select Respring. And once your device has come back after respringing, you could start using it. So go ahead and put your device into wiggle mode like this, then just tap on an App Store application. Don't tap on the X that's already there, tap on the actual app, then you're going to be getting this little red X on the other side. And you can continue doing this to multiple applications as you can see, and you'll be getting X's on all those apps. And once you have all the applications marked that you want to delete, just select the normal X, the gray X on any of those apps, any of the applications. And as you can see, it gives us the option to delete all three of those apps. And if I select delete, as you can see, all those applications will be deleted all at the same time. So if you're deleting multiple applications off of your device, again, at the same time, this could really save you some time. You know, you could delete multiple again at once. And again, it's called multi-delete. It's available in Cydia for free. And that wraps up all the tweaks that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. If you did find some good tweaks to install on your devices, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like its Facebook page, and add it to one of your circles on Google+. 
Also be sure to follow my personal Twitter account and all that will be linked down below in the description. And again, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.